Alright, so in our previous video, we were able to set up our server and we were able to install certain packages and we've been able to connect to our database. Let me just cd into the server and then start it up uh, as we should be able to. Uh, what is wrong? Okay, let me just type something and. Uh -huh, good, good. So I'm going to say npm start and then we should get it running so today what we are going to do is we're going to set up our user routes and then auth yeah and then in the next video we'll work on authentication right okay we are having this issue this issue is basically saying that our node version is not right so we can I, I just want to end this let me let me split the terminal and then so we are still in server so I'll say nvm use 16 okay 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 so now I can run npm store and then everything should go how, how we expect if I delete this it will close the whole thing so let's just leave it like that okay so we now have this connected and so let's just start so I'm just going to go into the server and then I'm going to create a routes folder I'm going to create like a routes folder and then inside that routes folder we can have our index.js inside this routes or we can even see uh, routes.js right over here and then inside so now that we have the route.js here we can now create our separate routes inside around here and then we can just uh, uh, create our base URL and let's use them here right so just like what we did in the previous video so how do we set up this these routes right I'm going to say const router const router we are going to take that so we if it was the previous one we would have used const router right but let's just import let's import express right let's import express from express import express from express and then we're going to say const router should come from express dot router okay now that we have that we can export we can export the router module dot exports uh yeah then you can export the router okay now that we have that working I want, I want to close this I want to close this I don't okay you let's just use it All right so express dot router and then uh, we can say const base URL this URL is basically going to be uh, API v1 okay then over here we can say we can say uh, router dot use router dot use then we have we bring in this uh, we bring in this and then we are, we are going to say that uh, this dollar sign and then we are going to put in the base URL base URL S uh, so here so in here well, I think base URL already has that so we can just continue so base URL and then we can just continue by saying users small letters users and then we can just add the user routes right user routes but we need to set this one up too so what do we how do we set this up okay so we can basically import the route so we can say import uh, routes from from this 
this from routes and routes right and then what we can do is we what we can do is over here you can see app dot use right and then we put in routes right the routes that we imported okay yeah so we need to make sure we fix this right so in here we have b0 right okay uh, let me I think I feel like I should take this off so that it looks more natural here right yeah, yeah. I want it to look more natural here okay so we have uh, this section right and then uh, user route so let's set up the user route so the user route is going to be I'm going to create a new file so I'm going to say user dot routes user dot route dot js okay, user dot route dot js then I'm gonna I'm going to import express let's not import let's just take everything from here right and then paste it here and then close this close this then all I have to do is I just have to test out let's let's just test out this router so routes dot get then we are getting from the home page and then inside you're going to pass the request the request response then inside the request response we are going to say that a res dot send back to the client that uh, these are the test users okay now that we have this all set up let's go into our routes and then let's import this so we can import it from here so we can say import what are we importing we're importing the user routes from where from user.route.js right we want to make sure that you're coming in with your extension or else you get errors right and so now that we know this let's just re reset okay yeah I forgot the comma yeah the comma right so when we save okay what's it export default okay okay so inside I use our routes that is here uh, inside here we can instead of using moji.exports we can rather say because since it's moji since you're using the type of moji what we can do is we can say export default then router right and then through that we should be able to export them okay okay so the same thing for are out here you can see what export default so the reason why I'm intentionally making these mistakes is because I want my viewers or I want you the viewer to be able to see the the potential mistakes that you could make and how to tackle them right so export default then we have what router because it is a module you are using a type module for this right okay so we have this we can go and test this out inside the browser uh, I'm gonna create like a new window here I'm gonna open up a new window in my browser okay then I would say that localhost let me let me just say localhost. I think we used five thousand the other time, right? So localhost five thousand. Then I'll say slash API slash v one slash uh, users, right? And then we should be able to get these are the test users as we expect, right? Okay. Now that we've been able to set up the routes, let us just move on into getting the models, right? So I want to go back here. And then create a model. 
so I'll say models I'll say models and then inside the model I can create the user dot model dot js user dot model dot js I need to so that you guys can focus on this right okay so user dot model dot js I just zoomed in a bit so I can so instead of importing um, mongoose like that I would rather import mongoose like this right from yeah, importing mongoose like this from mongoose right and then we want to import schema the schema module from mongoose so I'm going to say import this schema we are importing this schema from mongoose as expected then we are going to create a new schema object right so we're going to say const user schema or user model so user schema is going to be then we say new schema right we have new schema open this up create objects full of schemas right now what is the first schema that we are going to create out of our users right what what are those things so we are basically going to have like a username right we're going to have a username and then each user that has a username we're going to make sure that it's a type of what string okay so type string then we make sure that it is required so so required wait what why do we have okay so required is set to what true okay required is set to true then we want to make sure that each and every single user's username is what you <coughs> need okay so unique is true okay so we can <coughs> we can just move on to adding an email because every user would need what an email so how do we do that let me just bring this down here oh uh, I need this section to come down right <coughs> and then we can we can add the emails for each and every single user so I would say that email what is going on so email and then the user having the email should have it should the user the user's email should be the type of string right <coughs> okay uh, type string then save okay then <coughs> we should make sure that uh, I mean we could we could uh, what other property do you think we're gonna add to emails mm, it should be a type of string and it should be required right it should be required okay I think that's all then we can see that the user can have like a password okay then <coughs> then with the password we have a type the password is going to be a type string going to be a type string and then we can say that 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 is also what that is also required right that's also required so the user's password is required and then we move on to the profile picture section okay profile picture and then inside the profile picture we could uh, you would say that the profile picture has a type the profile picture has a type of string uh, string and then we are going to make sure that the default is going to be an empty string okay then we're gonna have a cover picture cover photo let's make this camel case we're gonna make this camel case and then 
so this one also has the type string okay and then default default is going to be then uh, now what is the next thing that we need to have we need to make sure that we check if a user is an admin okay then we are going to make sure that that type admin so it's admin obviously most of the time is seen to be what boolean okay so we set that up and then we make sure that the default boolean for every user that is being created is false okay so now that we've been able to set up this we want to make sure that we are exporting it right but we can't use module.exports as you can see so we are going to say export what export defaults export defaults then while we are exporting defaults we want to say mongoose mongoose dot what model right mongoose dot model with a collection name okay so collection name is user and then we are going to do you do that with the what the user schema okay so we've been able to set up our user schema okay now let's say we want to uh, allow only a specific amount of characters in one of the models or in one of the fields of this model right so let's say the user name we want to make sure that the the least uh, amount of characters that someone is going to assign to a username is going to be three or the the most so let's say you can't say me you can't write me as your username type thing or you can write m or you can write a as a username type thing right but it could be something like hey as your username right so we could so you could set the min min to three right and we could set the max the, and let's say we want to set a max right i don't why would i want to set a max okay because I mean, people might want to be as unique as possible it depends on them right so I can just set a min to 3 and yeah I think we should be good by now if we run into any errors we we'll definitely come and fix it so yes basically that is setting up a user route and a user model uh, I wish I hope you learned something and obviously if you have any questions you can ask in the comments and then hopefully in the next video we'll move on into creating authentication for our users in general so we have a user routes yeah we set that up scalability just like what we did in our previous video okay and then yeah i think everything works fine so yes we sh we should be good to go in the next video thank you very much for watching hopefully i'll see you bye bye